I welcome you to the Messiah channel, the prophetic channel and end time channel. I thank all the members. Um, we did a, a five part series on the Antichrist and we have finished. Um, we have finished our expose on the Antichrist, um, Barack Hussein Obama. But we have not finished uh, our investigations. Uh, we have the duty to be vigilant until the Messiah comes. And we need to watch out and watch out for the moves in the dark kingdom. We have to watch out for any statements that are made any policies that are implemented um, as the the son of perdition um, is in the process of being enthroned we need to be watching for all uh, these things and today i take an opportunity to salute uh, the members and those who watch the videos and those who share the videos um, it is not easy for people to uh, react to revelations, particularly revelations that are so critical, revelation about uh, the Antichrist, the beast of Revelation 13. Um, there are three important videos that I have done and immediately I posted those videos. I realized the word divine confirmation that something important has gone into the spiritual realm and that was the occasion where I posted a video that the final trumpet of heaven has sounded. I could see that there was divine reaction and the kingdom of the Most High was happy about the video. And the second video that I posted that I believe was very uh, significant was a video indicating that the Hebrews are scattered over the world. The Negroes are the Hebrews and the identity has been stolen. It was a great revelation. And immediately I posted that video I saw reactions in the uh, in the kingdom of the Most High by revelation and the last video was the series of videos that um, were posted at the end of November 2023 and particularly the video revealing that Barack Hussein Obama is the Antichrist spoken of uh, in the book of Revelation. When I finished the videos and the videos were about to be uploaded, uh, I saw unusual cloud movement and the sun, the shining, the brightness of the sun and the colors of the sun all those things were indication that um, something important was about to be revealed and that was the revelation that Barack Hussein Obama is the beast spoken of uh, in the book of Revelation chapter 13. Um, the information would be suppressed, the message of salvation would be suppressed message of revelation will be suppressed and there will also be attack a realized um, spiritual attack after the videos were released the five part videos revealing that barack hussein obama is the antichrist um, recorded in the book of revelation recorded in the book of daniel it's not everybody who will believe it but the Bible is very clear that there will be 
unbelief among the Hebrews, the chosen of God, until the time of the Gentiles. Uh, the Gentiles would be dominating the thinking, the mentality of the Hebrews. Uh, the Gentiles will be oppressing the Hebrews. The Gentiles will have the Hebrews in captivity and the Hebrews will not be aware. They will not come to their rare senses. They will not come into revelation until the time of the Gentiles are up. And when the Holy Spirit reveals a secret in the dark kingdom, uh, it's very spectacular. And at times you wonder whether the Holy Spirit is telling the real thing because what is revealed is something that is not normal, it's supernatural. It is only the Holy Spirit that can reveal it. It is the, only the Holy Spirit that can reveal the principalities and powers. It is only the Holy, Holy Spirit that can reveal that the final trumpet of heaven has sounded. And so you have to rely on the Holy Spirit for revelation. B.O. is the A.C. It is a prophetic equation. Barack Obama is the Antichrist. B.O. is the A.C. Barack Obama is the Antichrist. And by the prophecies, based on the prophecies and the writings of the prophets, Daniel and Apostle John, uh, he will have a critical number of years, uh, three and a half years to do his operations and uh, the period of the tribulation. Um, now that the AC is revealed, Barack Obama is revealed, uh, the question is what next? What is the way forward? Uh, you need, we need to look at the prophetic implications and we are going to look at the prophetic implications. The first implication is that you know we are in the last hours. Um, the prophet Daniel was shown a vision about the AC, the Antichrist, uh, 2,000 years ago. And Daniel said the AC is a man of fierce countenance. And when Daniel saw the man, uh, Daniel was actually disturbed. And 2,000 years later, um, the Antichrist is revealed uh, he is Bill Barack Hussein Obama, uh, number 44 president of the United States. And it is not easy. And the implication is that we are in the last days. First John 2.18. It states that there will be many antichrists. And when you see many antichrists, you should know that we are in the last days. Barack Obama is more than an antichrist. He is the antichrist. He is the beast, the beast of Revelation 13. And when you hear that he is the antichrist, let you know that we are in the last days. Um, John was disturbed when he was shown the antichrist because he saw a man who was blaspheming the holy name of the most high so john um, was actually disturbed and john was disturbed when he saw the tribulation that the antichrist um, caused in the whole world john was uh, disturbed and for you who believe in revelation and who know that Barack Obama is the Antichrist for you who have had revelations because some of you commented that you also have had revelation that Barack Obama uh, is the beast is the Antichrist and 
I'm sure you will be disturbed and you were disturbed. Um, I will take an opportunity to do a special video on a comment made by Blessing Blossom, that is your tag name, and you made a comment about a vision that you had about uh, Obama and he was dressed in his full military regalia and I will do a special uh, video on that. Of course your vision confirmed that Obama in his full regalia means that he is dressed for battle and he is the one who is going to do battle uh, with the Messiah, our Savior, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. And so the, we know that we are in the last days when we hear who the Antichrist is, Barack Hussein Obama. Um, another implication is that you have to work for your salvation with fear and trembling. The book of Philippians 2.12 uh, enjoins all of us to work for our salvation of fear and trembling. And now that you know who the Antichrist is, and now that you know Barack Hussein Obama is the Antichrist, you need to work for your salvation of fear and trembling. We are in the last days. We don't have time at all. And I will remind you what is written in the book of Hebrews. So let's look at Hebrews chapter uh, um, 10, verse 26. Uh, Hebrews 10, 26. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. What is the book? talking about the book is saying that after we know the truth after the truth has been revealed to us if we willfully sin then there's no more uh, sacrifice for our sins the Lord died once for our sins the Messiah is not going to die again and the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26 is saying that after we know that truth if we willfully sin then there's no longer sacrifice for our sins willfully sinning means that intentionally sinning continuing to sin and that's why we have to repent of our sins whether it is fornication adultery uh, masturbation murder lies uh, worshiping idols uh, we need to repent of our sins uh, because we cannot willfully sin uh, you can sin once twice but if you willfully sin continue to sin it means you have not repented you have not changed you have not um, you have not gone out of the the road of Sodom you have not come out of disobedience you have respected the sacrifice that the Messiah made with his own blood so if we willfully sin after we have received the knowledge then there's no more uh, sacrifice and the Hebrews the book of Hebrews also um, said something in Hebrews 10 28 he that despised Moses law died without mercy and the two or three witnesses what the book of Hebrew is saying that during the time of Moses those who disobeyed the laws of Moses um, they were killed all that the law needed was three witnesses to testify that the person had violated the laws of Moses he was killed those who despised the law of Moses um, they were killed under 
the testimony of only three witnesses. There's a witness who is greater than Moses and greater than the witnesses who testified during the time of uh, Moses. Apostle John saw the true and faithful witness in Revelation. He is the Messiah and the Messiah has testified to the message that he gave to uh, his servant John. The Messiah is the true and faithful witness. If you disobey the message of salvation, you have disobeyed the message of the true and faithful witness who is the Messiah. And now that you have been told that Barack Hussein Obama is the Antichrist, you have to work for your salvation with fear and trembling. Um, there's another implication um, after the revelation about Obama. It means that we are at the time, the critical time for the regathering, uh, the regathering of the Hebrews who are scattered all over the world. And how do you get to that conclusion? You get to that conclusion because it is the Messiah who will regather the outcasts of Israel and the displaced of Judah. And the Messiah will come at the time when the Antichrist is around and the Antichrist is around based upon the five part series uh, that were released uh, the last week in November 2023. You know who the Antichrist is. Uh, is Barack Hussein uh, Obama, uh, the former president of the United States who is coming again based upon revelation given to Celestia, Master Voice, a prophecy and block and when you hear the name Obama uh, you should know that he is the Antichrist spoken of in the book of Revelation and there are two relationships that you should watch the relationship between Obama and the Messiah the lion of the tribe of Judah the Antichrist will wage a war, war against the Messiah and so the Obama that you see, the Antichrist, a time will come when he will wage war with the lion of the tribe of Judah. You also need to watch the relationship between Obama and the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen of God, the saints of God. Revelation chapter 13 verse 7 says that power was given to the beast to wage war with the saints of God and to overcome them. Revelation 13 verse 7. And so for the Hebrew Israelites who are scattered over the world, particularly those who are in the United States, Babylon, America, and when you see Obama, when you hear about Obama, uh, you know the implication. Uh, he's not your friend. Um, he is part of the dark kingdom and if there's any tribulation that will be coming to you based upon the revelation in uh, the book of Revelation or the revelation in the book of Daniel, you should remember that Obama um, is around the corner as the Antichrist, as the beast, as the little horn in the book of Daniel. Uh, you should know the implication. The Antichrist is the seed of Satan. And you, the Hebrew Israelite, the seed of Jacob. Um, there is no... Um, th there shouldn't be any link between the seed of Satan and the seed of, the, the seed of Jacob. And so you should know that when the seed of Satan is around, uh, he's not your friend. Uh, Obama was a community organizer in Chicago. Uh, he's married to a sister, married to um, somebody who you consider as uh, a Hebrew. I'm not sure whether she is a Hebrew Israelite. Um, Obama won Nobel Peace Prize, symbolizing 
he is a man of peace excuse me a man of peace nobel prize but actually he is the man of lawlessness the son of perdition who will go into perdition let no man deceive you the messiah said it in matthew 24 verse 4 and i read that the the antichrist is a christian i read a book i read a book the obama nation um this is the, a copy of the book obama nation um, authored by Jeremy R. Corsi, an American, uh, number one New York uh, Times best, uh, best seller, Obama Nation. Obama is a Christian, and that's what is written. Uh, Obama was baptized in a church, Trinity United Church of Christ. Trinity united church of christ the church of pastor jeremiah Wright. that's where barack hussein obama was baptized trinity united church of christ and barack hussein obama the antichrist was baptized in a church of christ blasphemy 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 don't let race confuse you. Don't let the color of somebody's skin confuse you. Don't be prejudiced by race. Don't be prejudiced by the color or the skin. I'm speaking to the Hebrew Israelites. Barack Obama, I'm not sure whether he's black, whether he's white. Some people will say he's um, white because his mother is white. Somebody will say he's black because his father is black, an African, a Kenyan. Of course, if you have just one drop of a black um, man in your blood, by the laws of America, you are a black. And by the conventions of America, you are a Negro. So I don't know who, how you describe uh, Barack Obama, uh, but don't be surprised that uh, the Antichrist is a person of color, a person of color, a person uh, you can call uh, um, a Negro, a person um, that um, you identify as a black man. And don't be surprised that the Antichrist um, happens to have the same color as the Hebrew Israelites and don't be surprised at all uh, because Satan knows what he is doing um, the, it's a mystery of heaven and don't be deceived that the son of perdition is coming from your camp and don't be deceived don't be surprised because the son of perdition judas iscariot judas iscariot the son of perdition he came from among the 12 the chosen 12 who were with the messiah he became the son of perdition and so don't be surprised that barack h obama bho barack hussein obama a negro happens to be the son of perdition spoken of in the book of revelation spoken of in the book of daniel spoken of in the book written by paul to the thessalonians and don't be surprised and don't be angry and don't be angry because um, if a Negro is Antichrist who work against the kingdom of the Messiah, we have a lot of Negroes who will be working for the kingdom and they will have more power than the 
the powers that will be given to the Antichrist. Um, the Antichrist, Barack Obama, will have more power, will be able to call fire from heaven, but the time will be coming when you see Negroes calling fire from heaven, working miracles more than the miracles that Elijah performed when he was alive because the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen of God, who will be defending the kingdom of the Most High, they will also display power. And their miraculous display of power will be more than the powers that will be displayed by Obama and his false prophet. And so that should give you hope. Oh, hope for you, the Hebrew Israelite who is scattered all over the world. You are in revelation because you know the time that we are in. We are in the last of the last days. And the son of perdition, Barack Obama, is lurking around, waiting for his time, working behind the scenes helping in the installation of the new world order with all the panaphernalia of the beast, technology-wise, economic-wise, military-wise, propaganda-wise, is around, is orchestrating events from behind and his men are in control and he's able to control them by remote control until the time when he comes to the scene himself as the embodiment and the incarnate of Lucifer who will then complete his assignment in three and a half years, the years described as the Great Tribulation. So, for you, the Hebrew Israelites, you should know the time that we are in. We are in Obama times. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel. And we will do more revelations about the time that we are in. Thank you, Kamel PD. Thank you, Patrick uh, J. Donald child of God, uh, Yuli Yuli, and all um, the other people in the channel, salutations to you. God bless you and let the Holy Spirit guide you and confirm that Barack Hussein Obama is the AC, B-O is AC. Thank you for watching this video.